So if you own an 09 to 18 quad or crew cab Ram 1500 and you're looking for the widest and most affordable side steps to make getting in and out of your cab a little bit easier, you found them. The Barricade 5 inch oval bend side steps are currently the widest available and at around the $250 price point, there are also the most affordable 5 inch steps. Anything less expensive than these guys will be 4 inches in width or they will be even smaller. Now even though these are the most affordable 5 inch steps, they are still really well built in terms of function and look. They have a really nice polished stainless steel finish, so it looks really good, but you're also not going to have to worry about these things rusting or corroding on you anytime soon. And they also feature a double bracket system that secures the steps to the truck via the pinch seam and inside the rocker panels. They are very sturdy. I would say you could actually have two passengers on each step safely, and you're not going to have to worry about these things flexing or breaking. So it's safe to say they have a really high weight rating. And on that note of that double bracket system, these still install very easily. All the holes that you need to secure the steps are pre-drilled from the factory so there's no cutting or drilling required. You can honestly get these things bolted up in maybe an hour or two with a couple of sockets and a hand ratchet. So for that reason, I'm gonna give the install a very easy one out of three wrenches on my patented difficulty meter. So again, if you want the widest and most affordable stainless steel steps, go ahead and stick around. I'll show you guys exactly what sockets you need and I'll walk you through how to get these bolted up in just a moment. To install your side steps, you'll need a standard drive ratchet as well as a 10 and 13 millimeter deep socket and you'll also need 10 and 13 millimeter wrenches. Optional but helpful tools include an impact gun and an impact swivel. All right, so before we install our primary brackets, we have to set up these little bolt and nut plates inside the pre-drilled holes underneath the rocker panels. It's kind of hard to see these from the outside, obviously, but once we crawl underneath the truck, I'll show you where they are. Basically, there's three sets of two holes, one in the rear, one in the center, and one up front. Now, to get these bolt and nut plates inside those holes, you're actually gonna take one of the other bolts in the kit, these 13 millimeter head bolts, and thread it into the bolt and nut plate. Then you're gonna use this as leverage to slide it in there. Then once you get one of these studs popped through the holes, you're gonna grab these little plastic retainers, you're gonna thread them onto the stud, and that's gonna keep the plate in place. Then once we get all those in place, we can install our primary brackets. All right, so here are those sets of holes. Again, there's two octagon holes where each of the brackets are gonna go. And again, there's one in the rear, one in the center, and one up front. All right, so now that we have those bolt and nut plates installed, we can install our primary brackets. They are marked for driver front, driver center, and driver rear, and the same applies to the passenger side. But at any rate, what you're gonna do, you're gonna throw your bracket up onto the stud of that bolt and nut plate, then you wanna grab the stud itself, line up the threaded nut on the other end, and you're gonna install one of those 13 millimeter head bolts. You're also gonna throw a 13 millimeter nut on that stud, and you'll tighten everything down with a crush washer and a flat washer. If that sounds a little confusing, don't worry, I'm about to show you guys exactly how it's done. All right, and then once you got this hardware installed, you can tighten it down using a 13 millimeter deep socket. All right, now that we have our primary brackets installed, we're gonna install our secondary brackets. Now there are two pre-drilled holes in the pinch seams, and those two holes are gonna line up with the top holes on this bracket. The bottom oval hole is gonna line up with that hole on the primary bracket. Now to get all this stuff tightened down, you're gonna need two sets of the 10 millimeter bolts and the nylock nuts in the kit, as well as two flat washers, and you're gonna grab another one of the 13 millimeter bolts with the 13 millimeter nylock nuts and two more flat washers.
All right, so now that all our brackets are installed, we can finally throw our side steps in place. Now, if you looked on the bottom of the steps themselves, there are pre-drilled holes, and that's where you're gonna thread these 13 millimeter bolts in. These guys are a little bit different from the other hardware in the kit because they already have the crush washers and flat washers installed. So go ahead and throw your side step on top of the brackets, line up all the holes, and then tighten these guys down with your 13 millimeter socket. So once you got your steps bolted up, go ahead and do the same thing for the other side and that'll wrap up the install. That also wraps up my review of the Barricade 5-inch oval bend side steps with the stainless finish, fitting your 09-18 quad or crew cab Ram 1500. I'm Travis, thanks for watching, and for all things Ram, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.